thankfulness, grateful, giving God thanks for what he has done. When I think about gratitude, a scripture comes to me, 1 Thessalonians 5.18, that says, in all things, give thanks unto the Lord. Accepting and acknowledging the things in life, big or small, that we go through even in our day to day, and giving thanks for those things. Gratitude to me is for all of the years that the Lord has had me in a place where I can serve Him with the gifts that He has given me. Growing closer to God has been my number one blessing. Um, He's been refining me and changing me, uh, removing old ways and habits out of my life. And uh, it's just been such a wonderful blessing and it's such a wonderful transition. A special blessing I received this past year was a second chance, an opportunity to reinvent myself and reconnect back with friends and family from church and ultimately strengthening my relationship with God. Well, I've been ill for a few years. But this past year, something has happened in my memory. The Lord has still blessed me by enabling me to serve Him in praise and worship. Because even though I may not remember the song, as soon as we start playing it, the Lord puts the chords that I should play in my mind and I'm able to play. And that has been a true blessing to me this past year. One, one thing I'm very grateful for is the support that I received from the church, friends and family during a very tough time that I went through in my life where I had to face the consequences of my actions. Um, it was a journey where I had to get back a lot of trust the love and support that I received from the church during this time was encouraging and reassuring and much appreciated. Bible study every second and fourth Friday. Um, it's such an awesome judgment-free zone. I enjoy Antoinette and Carla. They're awesome. There's other ladies as well. Um, it's just sharing and growing closer to God. It's just a wonderful time. I had um, an operation. And one of the things I give God thanks for, he ministered to me, let not your heart be troubled, don't be afraid. Going through an operation is a, could be a scary thing, but I trust God and he walked me through that. One of the elders, um, Kareen, she came, picked me up from my home 7.30 a.m. that day. She stayed with me all that time. A few of her cell group people came down. Oh, that was like caring community in practical sense. Being in a Bible study group at Evangel Temple is a powerful thing that I experience. Um, Lucian, they bring me food, they come, they clean the house, they shop for me, they wash my feet. I felt the love, the caring community. I've been in this church over 30 years and I get to experience the caring community aspect. I'm grateful for the, the prayer backup when we can have the line and put prayer requests and we can pray and support each other uh, when we're going through hard times. Uh, I'm grateful for the small groups that we can gather together and grow and learn. Um, for me, something that's been really wonderful through the church is the outreach that I've been able to do. So through Regent Park, helping the unhoused, feeding them. Um, it's just been wonderful connecting with them, uh, even going to the C&E and uh, just witnessing to people through the bead story. That was great because it's like when you um, serve God, you are blessed through hearing people's testimony and like hearing what people are going through. And, you know, you're blessing them, but in turn, you're getting blessed as well and it just strengthens your relationship with God and your faith. It's awesome. Where we're growing in our um, dependence on the Lord in the hard places, um, 
even when we don't agree or understand what's all going on, if we just keep focusing and pressing in on the Lord and keeping to the heart of gratitude of just being thankful. Let's look for the things that we can give thanks for uh, and focus on that instead of what we don't have. That helps us to um, honor Him and obey Him and and it takes us out of the, the spiral of getting um, down in the dumps, I think. <laughs> Keep our faith and our focus on Him. And I really appreciate all the hugs I get here. I appreciate all the hugs that I get from Ernie on a Sunday morning. I shared with Ernie that we have a rule in our house that three hugs minimum today, minimum each day and no maximum. When you wake up, when you go to sleep, and as many as you can have in between, no maximum. Anybody can adopt it. Just always say thank you at the end of the day for the gift of life, you know, because even when we get caught up in our day-to-day -day of just going through the motions, we kind of forget that life in itself is a blessing. Letting God know that you're grateful for what he has done in your life and giving him thanks. I'm thankful for the, the knowledge and the wisdom he has given me. I thank him for this church. I thank him for Canada. I thank him for health. I'm grateful. Uh, that we have the opportunity not only to serve the Lord, but we start our day at home, Kathy and I, with a time of Bible study. One message I have to the church is to embrace God's plan, even if it involves hardships, because He would never give you something that you wouldn't be able to handle. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and, you know, bless your families. Have a wonderful day um, and also get involved in the church. Like come to outreach. Uh, we're always needing people and, uh, you know, get involved in small groups. That way you get to know people and uh, do outreach daily. And this Thanksgiving, I'd like to encourage people to stay close in the word, get hungrier and hungrier to spend time with the Lord to spend time to become a house of prayer and do your warfare in, in, the, in the secret place and, and corporately together so we can see God move and that he would be glorified and, and known and loved through all of us. When you meet somebody in this house and the Lord put them on your heart, don't just say, why did they come in my thought? Pray for them first of all and give them a call if possible. I would also encourage you to always, always, always remember to pray for your pastor. Um, I have a little group, me and Kathy, and I'm telling you, it's not the easiest thing to be a leader. And you need to pray for those that is in authority over you. Because you take it for granted that they know it all, they don't. And there is an enemy that is after the soul to bring distraction. And so we are responsible to always lift them up in prayer.